We're in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to delete a user. Let's first see how we got here. Let's go ahead and click on the home screen. And from here, we will see the admin icon. If you don't see that, it means you don't have administrator rights and you need to request those. Let's go ahead and click on admin. And from here, we're going to delete a user. Let's go ahead and click on delete a user. And we see several different users. So we can go ahead and check the one of the user that we want to delete. And we'll click select. And we'll get an option saying, are you sure you want to delete the user? And instead of deleting the user, you can choose some other options, such as block the user from signing in, as you see here. You can also reset the user's password or remove the product licenses. All of those will keep that person from being able to get into their account. Sometimes deleting a user isn't always the best idea. They may have email that you may want to archive off first, uh, or you may want to take a look at their email because you've terminated them for a certain violation, or there may be some sort of a lawsuit pending. So for all those reasons, you may not want to delete the user. You may just want to make it so that the user cannot get in. But in this case, we do want to delete the user, so let's go ahead and click Delete. And we see the user has been deleted. Now you can see up here that you can restore that user's email for up to 30 days. So even if you've deleted the user, you can still get that email back. Once you've deleted the user, the license automatically goes back into the pool. So you'll now see one additional license when you go to create a new user. Let's go ahead and click close. And that is how you delete a user in Office 365.